Dan here with the next in the Making and Breaking Conjecture series. This is Quadrilateral Bisection 1, one of my favorite problems ever. And it's so strange because it starts with just such a very simple and common thing, which is this 4 by 4 square. Um, I want to label all of those points on the sides, and I just labeled them with numbers, 1, 2, 3 on the top, 4, 5, 6 on the side, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And each of those points breaks each side into four equal pieces. So first of all, we can tell that this square has an area of 16. Simple, it's just a 4 by 4 square, 16 little squares inside. Let's do something a little more interesting, though. Let's draw in a quadrilateral, uh, this one. I'm going to call it 2, 5, 8, 11, because I'm just connecting those points. 2 to 5, 5 to 8, 8 to 11, 11 back to 2. That defines my quadrilateral. And there's a question I can ask right away about this, which is how much of the original square does this quadrilateral shade? Now, this is our warm-up problem. You can go ahead and work on this right now. And I encourage you to pause this video. I'm going to take a 10-second break here so you can pause it and give it a shot. What part of the original square is shaded by that quadrilateral? Okay, hopefully you've paused it, taking your time to have your conversation, and I'm going to go ahead with spoilers. Here is one way to solve it. There's a bunch of different ways, but one way you might is to break that shaded region up into right triangles, which are easier to find the area of. Uh, in particular, each one of those has area 2, because it's just half of the 2 by 2 square, or you can put the pieces together and see that they're each made of 2 squares. So four triangles of area two would mean the entire shaded area is eight. And that means that half of the total area is shaded. That's pretty interesting. And I'm curious right away if that will ever happen again. Uh, the best way to find out, I think, is just to try another example. So let's, um, let's try this one. This is quadrilateral 1, 4, 7, 11 since I've just connected those four points, 1 to 4, 4 to 7, 7 to 11, 11 back to 1. How much of the original square is shaded by this? So of the original 16, how much is this shade? Once again, I'm going to take a quick pause. You can pause the video and take on that question on your own. How much of this original, how much uh, of the original square does this quadrilateral shade? All right, I'm back. This one is a little trickier. Uh, it's You can definitely break it up into pieces that you can find the area of. You can uh, figure out, it looks like you maybe need to do some rectangles and triangles or connect up all the little pieces on the inside. Uh, there's one way that I find a little bit easier for this one, which is to actually look at the outside triangles, the white triangles. Um, it's not too hard to calculate those uh, just by looking at the each one is half of a rectangle the bottom one with area three is half of a two by three rectangle so that has area three and so on with all of them we can find the areas are not too bad uh, we put all that together the white area is area seven which means that the shaded area must just be 16 minus 7, which is 9. So that gives us the shaded area is 9. That is more than half. That's 9 sixteenths. And this brings up a question for me right away, which is, will any of the quadrilaterals we make in this way, by connecting one point from the top, one point from each side, one point from the bottom to create a, a quadrilateral, will any of these ever make... Uh, shade in half the area, um, aside from that one we've already done, 2, 5, 8, 11. And you can, you can talk about what you think, but I would like to make a conjecture on this right away, which is that that one we started with, 2, 5, 8, 11, is special. That, I think, is going to be the only quadrilateral that we make in this way that will occupy half of the square that has that area 8. So, I don't know if that's true or not yet, but 
I think it could be. I think it has a good chance of being true, but it also might be totally false. So here's your job. Either break that conjecture, find a counterexample, disprove it, and if you can do that, make a new, better conjecture. Or maybe the conjecture is pr true. If it is, prove that it's true. All of this is looking at a big question, which is how many quadrilaterals are there that shade exactly half the square? My conjecture is there's only one, 2, 5, 8, 11. Is it true or is it not? Uh, that is up to you. And there's the conjecture that we have. And I'm going to hand it over to you. Are there any others that occupy half the square? If there are, how many are there? If not, prove it. Have fun.